the great pretender? I think not. Freddie Mercury didn't pretend to be a great singer, musician, and songwriter he was. One thing I know, even being a nobody in the world of music back in the day, you would have the oddest times when a great song idea, lyrics, or tune would pop into your head, and by the time you were near an instrument to try and nail it down and put it to memory or record it somehow, it was gone. You'd have forgotten it. Well, Freddie had one way to avoid this all-too-common problem. The answer? His headboard? Yep. That awesome genius actually had a keyboard installed on his headboard, so if one of his brilliant songs came into his head in the middle of the night, he could put it to memory right there on the spot. Of course, being the talented guy we all knew he was, he could actually reach around and play it upside down, or backwards, all according to how you looked at it. His great musicianship was so strong that even toward the end of his life he still pushed through. His bandmate Brian May said Mercury's last days were full of a lot of joy, strangely enough. Freddie was in pain, but inside the studio there was a sort of blanket around, and he could be happy and enjoy what he liked doing best. Sometimes it would only last a couple of hours a day, because he would get very tired. But during that couple of hours, boy, would he give a lot. Even on his worst and most painful, exhausting days, he would still give all he had. Brian May recalls, When he couldn't stand up, he used to prop himself up against a desk and down a vodka, saying, I'll sing it till I effing bleed. I can't speak for everyone, of course. But for me, that's just a small glimpse of the talented and completely dedicated fella he was, and is sorely missed. One of the few I know would have gone on creating great music, if not for being taken too soon.